Hi everyone, this video will be my first official Mythic Plus Affix Guide. I plan on doing a guide for each Affix combination to help out anyone struggling with the Affixes. This is tailored towards Vengeance Demon Hunters, but any party with any sort of makeup should handle the Affixes in a similar fashion. This week is Teeming, Explosive, and Fortified. Teeming and Fortified is designed to slow down the run by forcing more trash spawns than normal and making the trash itself much harder to kill and dangerous to everyone. The largest downside to teaming is it forces your party to kill more trash than normal to meet the trash quota for the run. Neither of these are new affixes, but this is the first time we have seen explosive. Before we get into that, let's look at the talents. For this combination, I run with razor spikes, but however being fortified, you could run with Abyssal Strike to increase your um, AoE damage with your Infernal Slams combined with Flame Crash. For your row 100 talents, you can run with either Burning Alive or Fallout. Burning Alive will allow you to put more damage reduction on large pulls, especially with teaming, it can be useful. Fallout will produce more Soul Fragments when you use your Immolation Aura. Either or is fine. For row 102, I have Flame Crash for more AoE damage. 104 is Fracture. 106, I ran with Quicken Sigils. However, Sigil of Chains works really well. So it's up to you. This will give you more Sigil of Miseries and Sigil of Silences, whereas your Sigil of Chains will pull everything in together every minute and a half. I'm sorry, a minute and 20 seconds. And then we have Fell Devastation, or Spirit Bomb, I ran with Fell Devastation. And in the last row, I used Soul Barrier. Now, if you're just starting out and you are dying a lot, or you could die a lot, you could also run with Last Resort. For gear, I'm using my normal raid gear. For legendaries, for the video, I ran with the Archimonds Hatred Reborn, and with Pridus. Now, this is really dependent on your legendaries that you've received. But this is more of a defensive slash hybrid setup. If you're looking for damage, you could always run with the boots. Um, let's pop this up. You could run with the uh, wrong boots. The boots combined with the gloves will give you superior uh, damage. So you could run with that setup. So it really depends on what you're currently running with. So Foos is really good for Mythic Plus. Um, again, it depends on what you're aiming to do and what you currently have. Uh, consumables, I use Agility Flask plus Versatility Food. Um, for trash pull, or not trash, but for bosses, I pre pot a Prolon Power. Now, if I was pushing Mythic Plus or I really need to go all out to hit that timer, I would use Prolon Powers for trash pulls and Old Wars for bosses. So, that's my setup. Now, for the explosive affix so what this does is it spawns fell explosives near trash mobs that will explode for 40 percent of the group's max hit points since this is max percent based it is not possible to outgear, uh, to outgear this affix and it can be very deadly so just like volcanic more trash you pull the more fell explosives you'll have up at any given time so this affix forces the tank to pull less trash than in many other affixes. If you pull two or three large groups, there is a large chance you could have anywhere between four to six fell explosives up at any given time. Now, combine this with the, the fact that you're unable to create a target macro for them, so you either have to tab or click on them. Uh, if you have four or six up at any given time, you will probably wipe. So, there are two other crucial pieces of information. Uh, first off is the fell explosives will spawn from any mob that is CC'd. So if it's polymorphed, if it's, um, if we use our imprison, if it's CC'd, it can still spawn an explosive. However, another good news is, is you can also LOS them. So if there's some at a wall, if you go around the corner and they explode, they will not hit you. So this affix can be either pretty easy or extremely difficult based on the situation. Um, this is best handled by an organized group or a guild group. So for optimal performance, 
it is ideal to assign one person to kill all the explosives, allowing the other two DPS to maintain their DPS. So if this is assigned properly, this affix is easy. The downside is, if you are in a pug situation, it can be hard to rely on a completely random person. Um, so this can be an extremely difficult affix to pug with if you can't trust somebody in your party. So even though, well, I guess let me let me go into the the good side of these explosives is they have very low HP. So as a tank, you can kill them in a single fracture or a single shear. Sometimes it might take two shears, but we can kill them really quick. The uh, other good side is is if you're a healer and you're watching this video, as a healer you can use one of your offensive abilities and also kill the explosive, uh, the fell explosive rather quickly. And the last side note here is they are kind of buggy. They can spawn in walls, they can spawn under floors. Uh, in this video specifically on Helia, what you'll see is they were spawning inside the holes in which the tentacles came out of. Um, the problem is, is you can't melee them. You have to use range to kill them. Now, I never tested it, but this might be considered LOS from the party. I don't know, because every time they spawn down there, we kill them anyways. So just a heads up there. So I have a plus 11 mall footage from today. Uh, we are carrying this rogue, it's his key, so we're just doing a carry run. Um, so all the pulls I'm doing are slow. I know a lot of people will pull half a dungeon and run with it, but this guide is for people to learn how to pull it. And once you're comfortable, if you want to pull more trash than what I'm currently pulling, that's fine. So I'm pulling one or two smaller pulls together so you can see how it all works. And for the sake of the guide, it's, it's just how I designed to run it. So in this video, we ended up two chesting this 11 mall um, because we, we actually wiped in Helia because of a slight mishap with a tentacle hitting our healer's face. So... Yeah, we ended up just two chesting this 11. All right, so this will end my commentary. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, please like or subscribe, and thanks for watching.
too far away.
the spirits grow hungry from the scent of blood. Dear passengers, dear souls, I will guide you to the depths of Helheim for a small price. Your flesh and blood! If I can beat the payment from you, the spirits will! The flesh burdens the soul, a nuisance that must be flayed from your bones. Arise, Servitor! Claim our blood debt! the soul, a nuisance that must be flayed from your bones. Arise, servant. Why? I need to target Death. something first. I am but one ripple in the eternal ebb and flow. No quarter to these scallywags! Helia doesn't abide intruders! Beware. I don't have a target. No 
Betray no pain! Now secure the Nagelfar! Pillage! Blunder! Leave none standing! Destroy these land lovers! Regret trespassing in my realm! You have come far enough! Time to die! You will pay for that! No! This is not possible! It is finished. I banish your weak mortal souls forevermore. far enough! Time to die! You will pay for that! I am losing my patience! Your fate rains down! Four, three, two, 
Two, one. I will drown you all like rats. survived the storm the seas are unstoppable <laughs> 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 